we are still talking about surface area and we discovered that surface area is the total area of yeah, the surface if you like, yeah, all the faces, uh, the area of all the faces added together. Now for this particular question it gets really exciting yeah? and um, perhaps you want to put it on pause before you continue yeah? because many things, many uh, topics are combined in this one particular question and um, so I want you to find the service area yourself first, put this video on pause and then you continue. Okay, I hope you gave it a try. Now let's have a look together. Okay, if I look at this figure, it's like, what is this? A piece of cheese or maybe some, you know, the chocolate. What is that, Toblerone chocolate? Yeah, so it looks like that. Does this figure have a particular name? Yeah, does it have this three-dimensional figure? It is a prism. Yeah, perhaps you are aware of that because if I look at the area here, yeah, it is everywhere the same. Anyway, it's, it is... Yeah, if, if, I, if I cut it here, I should say properly now. Yeah, it is everywhere the same. The cross-sectional area is everywhere the same. Anyway, it's a prism. But the surface area, I'm not interested in the inside. I'm interested in the area on the outside. Now let's have a look at this face. What is that? That's a triangle. So I'm gonna put a one there because the triangle that is base times height divided by two, yeah, or half times base times height, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. So I see the angle there, it's 3 times 4, 3 times 4 divided by 2, yeah, because it's a triangle, and that is 12 divided by 2, so 6, okay? So the area of this triangle, this right angle triangle, is 6 meters squared, okay? I'm going to put the unit when I'm finished. And because it's a prism, that face on the back yeah, which is also a triangle, is exactly the same, yeah? Because that is also four, that is also three meters. So I'm gonna put another six here because the area of that triangle in the back is also six meters square. Okay, got those two covered. Now I'm going to look at that rectangle, I guess, on the back side. Can you see that? That is three times this length. Yeah, that is the area of that rectangle which we actually can't see, okay? So I'm gonna put a two there. That is three times, and how long is it? 10, yeah, it's 10 long, excellent, yeah, because that is the same length, three times 10, so that is going to be 30. Fantastic. Is there any other side that equals, that has the same area as that one? No. Some of you may think now that that slanted height here, yeah, the, the face that we do see, has the same area, but it doesn't, yeah? This is not a cuboid, this is not a cube, okay? So we just have to continue now. Let's look at the bottom, yeah? That also looks like a rectangle, and it is four times 10. It is a rectangle, four times 10, which is 40. So how many sides did I find now? How many areas did I find? One, two, three, four, which is one, two, three, four, yeah? So I've got them all except for one. That's a big part over here. Okay, what kind of a figure is that? What kind of a figure is that? Well, it is indeed a rectangle. So it's gonna be 10, 10 times, yeah, what is, what is the length of that? They don't give it to me. It's a rectangle, right? It's 10 times, and this length is the same as that length, but they don't give me that length either. So, is it therefore impossible for you to find out? Questions are never about things you don't know. How you realize that? So you gotta, you gotta creatively find a way to find this length. Right angle triangles, finding a length. Hang on a minute. Pythagoras theorem. Let's have a go. Yeah, a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Yeah? Questions now always incorporate more topics than just one, okay? Yes, you can get some Pythagoras while you are calculating the service area. Or perhaps next time you will have some trigonometry inside your question. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we are old enough now to do that. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. The hypotenuse squared, yeah? that is the hypotenuse that is across the 90 degree angle. So a squared plus b squared 3 squared plus 
4 squared, yeah, 9 at 16 equals c squared. So c is the square root of 25, uh, 9 plus 16, and that is 5. It barely fits, it barely fits, but it does fit, okay? 10 times 5, oh, my ink. 10 times 5, John, not times 50. 10 times 5 indeed is 50. Sorry about that. Okay. So, again, I am checking, did I forget to find the area of one of those faces? Because many students, unfortunately, they forget one. So I'm checking again. I have the triangle. I have the triangle, that's two. I have the side I don't see, that's three. I have the bottom, that's four. And then I have that slanted side, that is five. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic, yeah? So really I know that I'm doing it properly. I'm in control. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? 15 plus 40, that's 90. Plus 30, that's 120. Plus six, 126. Plus another six, 132. 132 meters squared. Yeah, I really don't want to be wasting my time with a calculator for that, huh? So 132 meters square is the surface area of this prism, which could be a piece of cheese, a big piece of cheese, by the way, 10 meters, maybe some Toblerone, 10 meters long, think about that, yeah? But anyway, the surface area, this is not the volume, no, the surface area equals to 132 meters squared. Now, I hope that was useful. And um, if you still have a question, yeah, tell me, I'm here to help you. Well done.